G'day guys, it's Mantis Boy here. Global only really came out on like the 25th of July, so it's been like a month and two weeks or so, and they're already releasing the Cygnus 9s. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing the other explorers anytime soon, but can we just take a second to appreciate that they're giving us five new classes already and it's only just been over a month? I'm super excited for what this means further down the track. It seems like they're pumping out content, so hopefully we're going to be seeing loads of classes pretty quickly, because I mean, like, they've already got the structure for them, they're just pulling them from the other game. But we're getting this really quick. And yeah, of course, the five sickness lights we're getting are the Dawn Warrior, the Wind Archer, the Night Walker, the Blaze Wizard, and the Thunderbreaker. Wait. <laughs> Guys, you do this every single update. Please tell me you're memeing us. You know it's spelt night, right? And naturally, with the release of the sickness lights, we're going to be seeing their starting zone, so that's nice, because I mean, yeah, that place always had really nice music going on. And then I presume these new weapons probably are going to be for the Cygnus Knight equivalents of the classes. So like the Dawn Warrior will have the two-hand sword, the Blaze Wizard will have the staff, and then the Thunderbreak will have the knuckle. And then also along with announcing the Cygnus Knights, they've announced the Guild Dungeon, which we're going to have access to, which I'm not sure, but I presume you'll probably be able to enter it like once a day, where you'll work with your guild members to take out the boss Papalitus. Man, I don't know if I ever pronounce these things right. Papalitus? Papalitus. Us. And you'll get a reward based on the points that you collect, but then there'll also be rewards based on all the points of all the guild members combined. Which means of course the guild interface is going to have a little change, there's going to be the tab for the guild dungeon, there's also going to be the tab for the guild shop. Or instead of using the guild points on items for yourself, you can use it for the guild. And you can make donations to the guild which in turn will increase the guild's experience and you can make a maximum of 3 donations every day. I'm pretty excited for the Sigma Slide update. My main on the global maple story was a Nightwalker, and I think that I think I think I had that to like level 200 or something. And I just remember it being really fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to change my main. I'm probably going to stick with the Bowmaster. I'll I'll definitely be playing the Sigma Slides and leveling them up at least a little bit, probably to like level 100 of each. I've prepared a whole bunch of gear for them. I know this is just a preview about the update. I remember just the other day when they posted about the Monster Mashes update preview, and it said that it was going to be released in the last week of August. And then two days later, they updated it and gave us Monster Mashes, and I mean, that was still like three quarters of a week until the last week of August. So I don't, I mean, like, I didn't complain about that, we got it early, and I wouldn't complain if we got the Sigma Science earlier than expected, but I'm just, I'm just ready, because they're just, they're just gonna throw it out of nowhere. They love doing that. But just so I can try all the Sigma Knights in a balanced and even way, I've got them all the eclectic set, and I mean, like, I got them all the serious cape and like a random belt. But I got them all the exact same kind of gear and I star forced everything up to 5. So everything should be pretty much even and I can see how they compare because I reckon some of these Cygnus Knights are going to be fucking strong. In before Blaze Wizard bot in every map. And also to prepare for the Cygnus Knights, I've pretty much spent all of my money on level 15 epics. Man, I hope I get an emblem. I'll probably be fusing them sometime really soon, but I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them. I might sell some of them, it depends how poor I get after it. But I'm going to try to hold on to them, at least until the Cygnus Knights launch, if it's going to be sometime soon, which I expect it will be. Because personally, I'm expecting the prices to keep going up. Because just think about it, right now there's 5 classes we can play, and the prices are already pretty expensive. Just throw in 5 more classes that are using the same gear, basically. So now everyone's going to be needing a whole lot more gear, because everyone wants to try it. Even if they don't want to main it, they want to try it, and they want to get at least epics, so or uniques. Basically what I'm trying to say is, guys, just keep up with the trade station. If you're struggling with Mesos, or you want to try and make some easy money, then keep up with the trade station and look to see if the prices are going up. Some days, prices just go up by like an extra mil on some things, or like five mil on some of the unique items. Think about when the demand's going to go up, because chances are, if you thought about it, the demand is probably going to go up, which means items are going to get worth more. And my favorite thing about prices going up is you can spend more money leveling up items. I did a video, I think just yesterday, where I spent like 50 mil on the normal treasure box, and I ended up overall like profiting, I think like 2 mil, which really isn't that great, but right now the epics weren't super expensive, I mean they were pretty good, but the level 15 outfits that I made, they weren't exactly expensive, I was kind of pricing them around 15 mil, but once demand goes up, they can go 20, 25 mil pretty easily. I was hearing in the comments that people were saying that on their server, items were going up for like 36 mil. So if there are items on your server that are level 15 epics and they're selling for like 40 mil and epics that are level 1 are selling for like around 1 to 1.5 mil 
then the normal treasure box method of uh, getting items and leveling up items and selling them becomes way more profitable. Man, I hope when they release Signa Science they give us more character slots. Because I know you guys didn't like it, but I'm still farming for pet food on my alts. Or delete Night Lord. But there's five classes. Surely they're going to give us slots. Alright guys, cheers for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're as excited as I am for the Signa Science update. I reckon it's going to be mad fun. Leave a like if you did, and I mean, or if you are excited, and uh, subscribe to see more. Catch you, boy.